Now let's look into the 3D surface plot. So a surface chart or 3D surface plot displays a set of three dimensional data as a mesh surface. It is useful when you need to find the optimum combinations between two sets of uh, data. The colors and patterns in surface charts indicate the areas that are in the same range of values by analogy with topographic map. So a, a typical 3D surface plot is constructed from the three variables x, y and z. Two of them are independent located on the horizontal axis. The other is dependent uh, shown along the uh, vertical axis. Hence the surface charts represent a functional relationship between a designated dependent variable and two independent ones. So, uh, a typical 3D or a 3D surface plot or a surface chart represent a functional relationship between a designated dependent variable and two independent ones. So, that's the reason this is widely used in uh, scientific research, uh, even for the automobile or could be aeronautics and uh, stress analysis, uh, uh, stress analysis and these kind of purposes or fatigue analysis, uh, uh, creep analysis. For all those uh, uh, things, uh, these 3D surface plots were used widely, not only for the uh, mechanical component analysis, but even for the electrical component and electrical component analysis. And uh, if you want to do analysis in on electrical components also, they use the same one that's a surface charts. Let's uh, take one example uh, and how it looks. A 3D surface plot. So, uh, as uh, from matplotlib, the plot as plt and npy, numpy as np, so that remains same. In addition to that, from matplotlib, I'm gonna import one uh, more library or one more package called cm. It's a cm, so it's successfully imported. It's successfully imported. So now let me. Uh, let me call a package uh, so plt.style.huge use and underscore mpl and gallery yeah execute it and all fine so now let's make a data i need to make x y z so let's make all three arrays so let's make data so first x is equals to np dot let me check uh, if i have yeah i'm just gonna check no let's create from the scratch a range of minus five to five and i want it as 0 0.25 as a fraction part so just make uh, uh, the numbers on whatever the numbers that are available from minus 5 to 5 into dif uh, different number of 0.25 fractions so y is equals to again and p dot arrange um, same minus 5 to 5 but this yeah, it's, I'm going to go with 0.25, that's time, 2. So, so let's make a grid. So, x comma y is equals to np dot mesh grid of x comma y. 
okay so we made it a grid with mesh grid or uh, with the x comma y so now so let me call r r is equals to np dot square root of uh, i'm going to go with the x to the power 2 plus uh, y to the power 2 so now i'm going to create z so np dot sign of r and execute so if you want to see x and y z so we can do that let me say print of x this is what is our x this is what is our y and this is what is our z you see that z because it's sign of value so obviously you'll get this values sign of a certain angle so 0 0.7 0 0.57 and all these values we got it so our data is ready so now it's time to plot the surface so let's plot the surface so fig comma ax is equals to plt dot sub plots obviously it's a 3d so i'm gonna go for sub sorry subplot underscore kw is equals to and a keyword argument kw keyword argument so the keyword argument i'm gonna give is projection okay projection 3 3d 3d yep that's done so and here is your 3d projection 3d projected subplot so x dot uh, plot surface yes correct plot surface and x comma y comma z and then I'm going to add a few more values. That's V min is equal to Z minimum and uh, multiplied by 2. Then C map is equal to CM dot uh, blues. So that's it. Let me execute it. So name Z is not defined. Okay. Up here is a brilliant design. So let me make it. Uh, let me check the X labels. If you want to add, you can add it. I'm just gonna copy this X labels, X tick labels, and Y tick labels, and Z tick labels, and just want to present it as a plot. And here is that yeah see that 3d surface